In today's Cash Star video, we're not going to talk about the Evo Knight, we're not going to talk about the Royal Recuse, and all stuff about the Goblin Giants, all about the Graveyard. Also pretty against us, as I know, Lucas X Game and me, we're all calling, kind of complaining about the Graveyard. It's just so strong defensively, um, and most of the deck combinations, like the Ice Wizard, Baby Dragon Splash deck, and just like... It doesn't really like have any really great counters like it's so so good no matter hawk is all over the place and it just does so well against these type of decks at the same time you could kind of argue just use a poison right just use a poison poison isn't really too good against square because first of all you're always able to chip away an opponent's tower second which is even more important you can defend everything at example if this deck opponent's gonna poison the graveyard you're gonna get like 200 300 chip damage the opponent won't be able to break through Goblins, Knight, um, also like Rascals and so on, and Foundering. This is kind of what makes this deck so so good. Or with the other one, like Ice Wizard, Baby Dragon, Tombstone opponent is not able to break through that. So, this is what this makes this deck so good. This card so annoying as a win condition. At the same time, of course, the RNG, right? You never know where the skeletons are spawning. So, sometimes you're defending really great, but you're still taking so much damage because the skeletons are all spawning on one side. And I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. I think most of you guys didn't expect it after seeing this title, but I want to need, I want to know you. Your opinion. So I'm just gonna for my gravy that aggressive. He doesn't have his um Bobs in cycle. So I feel like it's a player can really do in this type of situation. And we're gonna be able to get a ton of chip damage. Of course, Tombstone is doing an okay job, but I can just go now for snowball on top of the skeleton drinks and we are chilling. Right, so I'm just gonna for my snowball there. I'm also gonna go gobbles there. I think the gobbles should do a good job there cleaning up everything. And now we're in a really solid position. So this deck, you actually got used by someone in the top um, 50 in the world. And I used this deck back in the days in 2020, in 2018, with the Goblin Heart. When the Goblin Heart was broken, Rescue just came out. And I used like the similar deck to that. So like really cool vibes there. So I'm just gonna go for my knight here in front. If he goes on barbs, I'm just gonna go bomb tower immunity. Okay, bomb tower is coming down. I'm just gonna go Rescue like this. Let's see, now I think like the like the bomb tower bomb should clean up everything. Exactly. I'm just gonna go goblins there. I'm just gonna go for an fair drain here. Let's see if he's gonna zap on offense or on defense. Okay, so I need to go snowball here. Perfect snowball. And now I'm just gonna go honestly knight there, kinda maybe like baiting out by Baron, so I can just push on the other side. That would be at least my dream. Let's go. Now I can just go graveyard there. I also think we're gonna go poison here because we also hit the Mega Man. Not the best Mega Man placement. Okay, he's still forced to play something, right? So he's forced to play um, Skeleton Dragon's there. We're gonna get some chip damage. I can just go in there for another night. And now it looks like it might be good night for him. I might just go for my Fair Dragon at the bridge. Okay, we're just gonna go Graveyard now, maybe. I think oh, I'm not gonna do it because it's mostly just gonna go Barbs, right? I think he has to use Barbs, yes, exactly. So, I still think it's okay though, but maybe it wasn't the smartest thing. Okay, I'm just gonna go bomb to here at the bridge to kind of block this. So now the balloon gets targeted, I can just go for my Inferno Dragon here. And even if he goes zap, I think it won't be any damage. I'm just gonna go poison on offense here, focusing completely on offense. I just hope the Evo Knight is gonna walk again, so he's gonna get like a shield up. Let's go, exactly. Mega Man comes down, still two shots, Mega Man also will be dead. And if he decides to go in for another lava, I can just go in for my graveyard now. And also gonna go for my rascals here, because if he goes on barbs, I can just snowball them immediately. Okay, now I'm just gonna snowball there. Perfect snowball, hit that. And even if he goes in for the zap, the game is over, GG's well played. And you had the stack, just like the defensive combination between all, and also with the offense, it's just so, so good. And of course, Hawk Rider gets played a lot. This deck does well against Hawk Rider. And just like the defensive capability and the poison bait makes this deck so good. And also so annoying, especially in Triple XM, you can't defend this card. Here we go, next game versus we are. We're just gonna give them good luck and we're just gonna go for golems immediately at the bridge and let's see which his response will be. Okay, so it's not gonna, please no, please no. Okay, we have a problem. So he's gonna go activate King Town Norm, you know, we wanna go golems at the bridge, but man, the chance is so low that he has tornado, right? But he has it actually, so we are struggling there. Okay, we might face, we might face the other graveyard deck. To be fair, the matchup should be really good since we got Inferno Dragon and also we got Rascals, which are doing really well. Okay, now he's playing this. Oh, he didn't get the King Activation! Oh, I thought he got it, but he didn't! Okay, we are lucky. We are the luckiest guy. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Graveyard now. Is Bowler's out? What? What is this deck, dude? Like, I, I, I'm so done with Clasher. Why do you have Goblins? 
Well, you got goblins and also knight and cannon. I got no idea what this guy is playing. I'm just gonna go for my giant snowball there, pushing back everything. I mean, a foundling just like a really solid card overall. What's he gonna do now? He's just gonna go for Rambrayer. Why the heck do you have a Rambrayer? Okay, I'm just gonna go for my... So you got Rambrayer Tornado. I mean, that's a like complete normal deck, right? Rambrayer Tornado, you're seeing it every single day, 100 times. Um, okay, we don't get any chip, but I kind of want to go now for my Knight now. And then I'm just gonna go for my GUI because his Goblins are not in cycle as far as I know. He goes on Baby D, this is fine. He got Ghost in for Bowl, this is also fine. We should be able to get some decent amount of chip. Yeah, of course, now his goblins are back in sight. But look at the damage we're getting right now. I think we should be able to clean up everything easily with Inferno D. Let's go Inferno D, do your job. Appreciate it, Inferno Dragon, you're the goat. Just gonna go for my rescues there. He has lightning, good to know. But still, rescues are putting in work. And we're gonna be able to defend this in a really nice way. I'm honestly really scared of going for my goblins, but I still think it's fine, this whole situation. Is he gonna go for a tornado this time? No, once again, he's not gonna get the activation. I'm just gonna go for my poison there. I'm also gonna go snowball. Poison snowball just so broke. I'm just spamming everything right. Look look at the damage, right? He got a bowler, he got a cannon, and he also got goblins. But we got like the Evo Knight tanking and towers that and all, at the same time we killed everything. So we killed the cannon, we killed the tower, we killed the bowler, just with poison and snowball on like, basically nothing. This guy was plays a really weird deck. We're going like top 250. I really need to push up once again. But like, I don't know, dude. This I don't this doesn't feel right and yeah, I also could think that Little Prince will work really well in Graveyard. I don't know. This is just like so busted, guys. Next gap here was F2, and we're just gonna go for a Knight. I have no idea what this guy is running, but I hope he doesn't have Sparky. Okay, he just goes in for his Knight. I'm just gonna go for this. Oh, Inferno Dragon. Could be Hawk, could be Bait, could be E Giant, could be Goblin Giant, could be everything. Knight is just a bit unbalanced. Okay, could be a Graveyard Mirror matchup. Okay. Kind of waiting until the knight crosses the bridge. I'm just gonna immediately graveyard. Even it into an ice whisk, he most likely just gonna poison it anyway. Okay, he has a bowler. So I'm just gonna go for my snowball here. So snowball will once again make sure to hopefully get some skeleton damage. Yeah, it's fine, right? Like the bowler got a ton of damage. The Ferdering is still alive, shreds the entire bowler. So over would say it was a really clean start. I'm also gonna go goblins. I don't need to be like this time scared about his king to activation because he just used this tornado. And I'm just gonna immediately go and for my Rascals there. Rascals doing a great job against the Baby Dragon. He doesn't have Bowl and Cycle yet. So he goes in for an Inferno Dragon here. I don't know about this Inferno Dragon though. Because right now, I can just go in for my Knight. And I just hope both of these Rascal girls are surviving with just one. But how the heck is he gonna stop this? How the heck is he gonna stop this? If I'm just gonna go also for my Snowball there. Really good Snowball. Pushing back the Knight. Pushing back the Ice Red. Skulls are spawning. Goes for Tornado. Ice Red is dying. So much damage. I'm just gonna continue to spam here with Goblins. Look at the damage we are getting, dude. What I'm supposed to say, it's just so dumb, right? You can just spam, like, also with the snowball, snowball's grave is like unstoppable, right? You're just gonna get so much chip damage, not, uh, chip damage, not just like your troop dies, also like the slow effect, you, you kinda saw it, right? The scans were just killing the ice wizard and the knight, which just feels like, this feels like cheating to be fair. So, okay, next up, we're just gonna go for an inferno ring like this, middle higher, I would say. And now I might just go in for my knight in front. I might just go in for my giant snowball here, pushing it into my boy. And now I'm just gonna go for a grave. I guess he's just gonna block the bridge, but it's fine. I'm just gonna take the poison also because I can just, just go goblins there. So I just wanna make sure the knight isn't walking anymore and it's gonna completely get shredded. He's also gonna go for the bowler, but we got the next and foundering. So our next and foundering will get a ton of work there, hope hopefully. I'm just gonna go for it. He also goes on first and foundering, but I can just block this kind of foundering here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my rascals here. I'm kind of waiting until he goes. Okay, I don't really think I need to freeze it. I'm just gonna go for my bomb tower here. I just wanna make sure, okay. No tornado value. Using here really smart um, goblins there. And I honestly, I can just go in for another graveyard here. So the graveyard will now do a great job. He can't defend this one. I'm just gonna go for my snowball here. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm just gonna snowball this. I'm also gonna go take the poison because I think this game could be over now. If we're gonna get like one more chip skeleton shot, I'm just gonna go for my inferno ring now, block the bridge. And I think this game might be over already. 12 HP, okay. I can just go knight there. He still needs to defend the inferno ring anyway. We can just cycle snowball now. GG's well played, dude. This deck 
it's crazy and we just beat this guy in a mirror match but of course we had the better deck and this one we won duel next guy up here was juninho br i'm just gonna go for my gobos there at the bridge and let's see how it's gonna respond to that just okay maybe i shouldn't have done it okay he doesn't have nato okay always a bit risky we're actually getting some trip damage even he played the fisherman so this is always a success there and he plays rg okay we got good answers right we got the rascals we got the inferno dragon of course so it shouldn't be bad so inferno dragon should get a decent, decent amount of value let's see if let's cut out which spells he has does he have fireball log does he have okay it's time to go in i need to go in i need to go in immediately let's see go some lumberjack Yes, arrows. Okay, but look at the damage, right? Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage, bro! <laughs> Toe down. <laughs> Toe down. This is normal, right? You're kind of expecting this. I'm just going to go for my Goblin Giant there. I'm just going to go for my Knight there. I mean, for my Goblins, not Goblin Giant. I saw too much Goblin Giant today. The Knight will completely counter the Phoenix. I think, may okay, maybe the Phoenix gets a shot on top of the tower. I just need to go in Ferndring there. I think I don't need to go Snowball. Yes, this is fine. And we kind of won this game already. So this is kind of what it shows, right? You sometimes need to play passive. Overall, I would say Gravy is more of a passive strategy in Clash Royale, but also sometimes in some scenarios, you need to be the more aggressive player, right? You need to be the more aggressive player like this, right? Bola, really annoying for me to deal with when I don't have Inferno Dragon and Cycle, right? I just have Raskets and Knight, both of them. You don't really want to play in the back because you just give them value, right? So I want to push opposite lane to at least like, I didn't even want to get the tower, right? I just want him to bait, like to play something, to bait out Elixir, and then I'm just gonna go for my Gobbles on top of his Ambola to get like a really good elixir trade in the same time with opposite lane, also kind of fixing my cycle. So this is exactly what we did there. Of course, it was even better. We almost like took his tower in this one push, but it wasn't really intentional. But of course, you're always taking stuff down. I'm just gonna go for my fan during high there. I think I'm also gonna go pre-poison this because yeah, why not? Why not? He goes in for a really late boy. I'm just gonna go for my rescue there. Where skills? Um are gonna kill this hopefully let's go and now it's just like about defending and i don't know like if you talk about defending there's no better deck than graveyard right graveyard is always the best defensive deck in clash royale i feel like just like so 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 just overall doing a great job i'm just gonna continue poisoning here because like as, as i said i don't want really to play something or i don't really want to play something into his pushes so just feel like poisoning is always a good choice i'm also gonna go now for my bomb tower he goes in for rest uh, for his um Arrows, so I'm just gonna go for my Rascals there. Our Rascals will do a good job. I can just go now for my Knight here. Okay, he goes on Fireball anyway, so it wasn't really necessary. I was kind of scared of the Bowler, but we are winning this one, and this deck is just so good. Let me know what you guys think. Is Graveyard currently one of the problems in Clash or the bigger ones? Or it's just like a problem for such a long time? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I'm out. See you guys tomorrow for Little Prince gameplay in the arena.